the small, powerful companion that helps you find your things. Small and light, Tile Mate is designed to easily hook onto your keys, drop in your purse, or stick on your bike. When your things get lost, Tile Mate is there to help you find them. Ring Tile Mate to quickly find your remote control. Or use the Tile app to retrace your steps and see where you left your car on the map. If it's your phone that you're looking for, just press the button on any of your tiles and your phone will ring, even on silent. And if your bike goes missing, Tile can still help you find it. Just ask to be notified. Then when any user in Tile's global network comes within range of your missing bike, the Tile app will alert you of its most recent location. Tile Mate, the simple, easy way to find your things. Get Tile Mate today and never worry about losing anything again. Tile, find what matters. Green, pink, purple, and then black and silver. The look is very sleek and they are pretty similar to the look of the Power Beats. Let's begin with the sound. Right out of the box, you'll notice they are loud. This is appropriate since they are workout headphones and you'll most likely be in a loud environment when you use them. However, for daily use, this might be too loud for some people. The Amazon page claims strong bass and uh, you can definitely, with the right tip, get really, really powerful bass. These earbuds will never fall out. The Hooks do feel a little flimsy, but once you get them on there, they are really, really stuck and they will not fall off while running, exercising, anything. They are IPX7 waterproof and sweatproof, which is a huge upgrade from the previous generation. And I would definitely recommend getting the XR500 over the XR100s. Let's talk about connectivity. The connectivity is pretty solid, especially in a house or in an open space. Um, the problem is on an iPhone, which I'm using, it's a little bit cumbersome to, when you turn off the headphones, they don't connect automatically. I don't know if that's an iPhone only issue or it translates over to Android, but it is a little annoying. Now battery life. Trebla claims a nine hour straight listening time with a 240 hour idle time. I can definitely say I got about eight to nine hours of pretty hardcore listening. That was on the lowest volume, however. Okay, so what do I like and don't like about the XR500s? One, I really like the case that it comes in. It's really, really solid, and I feel like you could just throw them in there anytime and hold them around. What I don't like, however, is this flashing blue light, and it's very bright, very noticeable. In a nighttime setting, this is going to annoy you. Also, I don't like the built-in controls. They feel very clicky, and sometimes you feel like they don't translate well. They work, but I'd rather have something more sturdy. Right now, at the time of recording on Amazon, these headphones are average about 35 bucks. If you're only going to take these to the gym or out running, I cannot recommend these more. These are perfect for noisy situations where you just want to hear your music. However, if you're a casual listener and plan on putting these in for long amounts of time, maybe in your house or at an office, you might want to look elsewhere. These are purely sports headphones and they're the best when used that way. 